going to give a shot at a little bit of an anatomy lesson here related to a condition um, that we all suffer from, uh, MALS or mediant arcuate ligament syndrome. And I'm doing a VR application called Body Maps that I recently just got access to as a beta tester. And I wanted to start playing around with it. And whenever I get into these applications, I immediately start looking for the celiac trunk and a couple of uh, other landmarks and organs that I know that, you know, have impacted me during my journey with this disease. And so here in front of us all blown up is uh, the uh, digestive system, the nervous system, and the endocrine system. And so what I'm able to do here in VR is I can, uh, you know, look at this, I can rotate around it and you know, this is this is cool in and of itself, but there's going to be a whole lot more that we're going to be able to dig into and do. But I wanted to kind of first give a sense of how complicated this anatomy is to get to. And if you look at this line pointing into the celiac trunk, um, which is the uh, focus of all of our issues here, you can see it's leading kind of through all these organs sitting kind of right on top. This is kind of the best view you have of it um, here on top of the aorta. Uh, now what we're able to do is actually kind of peel away a couple of layers and vet some of this. Um, and so what I'm gonna do is isolate the celiac trunk and then you can kind of see it and some of the other organs that I've um, kept or um, isolated as part of it. And so we have the uh, plexus nerves, the celiac trunk, the pancreas, the spleen. Um, and in my particular case, after my surgery, I had issues with the spleen and the pancreas. Um, and so I kind of, uh, again, get in here and, and like to play around with peeling these layers back to see you know, uh, how complicated this all is. And so let's go here, um, and this was the approach that I had. I had uh, you know, the incision kind of from right under my xiphoid process down to my belly button. Um, so, and this is the approach that they took to uh, get at the ligament and the nerve. So let's, let's go ahead and we'll start removing the thing. So let's get the liver out of the way. Let's get the gallbladder out of the way. Let's get the stomach out of the way. I, wish we, I bet the doctors wish they could do it this way. Now we're starting to get at it a little bit. And now we can see we've got the pancreas, we've got the spleen here, and here is the celiac trunk sitting right back here off the aorta. And right back here behind it is the celiac plexus nerve sitting right beside it. And of course you can see very densely populated with all this other circulatory um, stuff. And we can, we can peel away certain elements of it to get at just the celiac trunk. Let's see, let's get rid of some of that and bring it in real close. And here it is. And I think there's a little, yeah, so you can kind of see the pathway of the blood flow and how it feeds over here to the spleen, the pancreas, uh, the intestines, the stomach. But yeah, I mean, complicated stuff. If I can kind of grab these pieces and float them back into position. Let's get the liver back in here. And what am I missing? I think I put the stomach somewhere. The stomach has floated away. Oh, there it is. And so I don't know if that's helpful, but uh, again, it, it's something that helps me kind of visualize what's uh, going on inside my own body. And hopefully uh, this has been maybe helpful to some.